What will be left when it's all over? After all the mudslinging, all the insulting, all the lying, to which it seems we've set a new low. The day after the election, some will be left standing, others defeated. But we will all carry the wounds of fear, anxiety, hatred, distrust. In the wake of both triumph and pain, how do we move forward? Hope can't be found in the promises of broken people, but only in the sovereignty of a perfect God. He is not surprised by outcomes, and his purposes cannot be hindered. For this reason, we elect to put our hope in God, not a person. We elect to trust his certain plan, not our foolish ways. And we move forward believing God loves us, is in control, and is on the move.